Hi, I'm Robert from Move Work Forward. In this video, we are going to cover branch creation in Jira using Azure DevOps for Jira by Move Work Forward. To begin, it's important to ensure the user has branch creation permissions in the Azure DevOps repository in question. So to check that, go to your Azure DevOps project, then click on the project settings from the bottom left. Now from the menu on the left, if necessary, scroll down, then select repositories under repos. Then go to the security tab. Now you can search by groups or users. So once you've found a user you required, click on them and ensure they have the create branch permission set to allow from the options of permissions on the right. Now that the permissions are sorted, go to the task you wish to create the branch from. Now it's important to note the key that binds everything together in Azure DevOps for Jira is the Jira issue key, which is currently ADDP-1. Whether it's for branches, commits, or pull requests, be sure to include the Jira issue key to develop the link between DevOps and Jira. For without the issue key, the link won't work and you won't have that connection and you won't see the items in the development panel. So from the development panel on the right, we're going to click on create branch. Now, if you haven't previously done so, you'll be prompted to log into Azure DevOps. Okay, and now that we've logged in, we can select the project and the repository we want to link from. It's important to note while all your projects will be listed under the org name, if the integration isn't set up for that project, you won't be able to see the connection in the development panel as it shows here when we are in a different project. So we will select the project we've linked, which is pipelines testing. And then we will select a repository. We will select our parent branch as main, and then we will provide a suitable branch name. So remember the important thing to include is the Jira issue key. That should be included in all your branch names to make sure it links to the correct task and then click on create. Now, as we can see, branch addp-1 underscore ado-4 jira branch was created successfully. And now we can view the branch in Azure DevOps. So as we can see, this is our branch here successfully created in ADO. Now, if we hop back and have a quick refresh, we can now see our branch is listed here. Now, the important thing to note is if you've created multiple branches, you will see them listed here. If you subsequently want to create another branch thereafter, just click the plus sign next to the number of branches to create a new branch, and it will let you follow the same process flow once you click on Create Branch in Azure DevOps. As we can see here. Now, if we click on where it says One Branch, we can see the development information and we can see our branch listed here along with any others we may create. Alternatively, we can highlight it and then select view all development information, which will bring us to the same window. And if we hover over the one branch and see our branch here, if we click it, it'll bring us back to our branch in Azure DevOps. And that's how to ensure you have the correct permissions to create branches in Azure DevOps for Jira by Move Work Forward. Thanks.